The Menkaure Pyramid Complex is the smallest, but in many ways the most elaborate, at Giza. It was excavated by George Reisner on behalf of the Harvard University Boston Museum of Fine Arts Expedition. You see the entire complex here, with the Valley Temple in the foreground, connecting by a long causeway to the Pyramid Temple, and then behind, directly the pyramid itself. The area was explored by many different investigators before the Harvard University Boston Museum of Fine Arts Expedition arrived, but Reisner worked here in 1906-7 and in 1908-10. His focus was on the Queen's Pyramids and the Pyramid and Valley Temple, not on the interior chambers of the pyramid itself. We can see in the antechamber the only niche decoration to be found in any pyramid at Giza, and then an additional corridor, portcullis stones to seal their chambers, and a staircase leading down to the king's burial chamber itself with a beautifully vaulted ceiling. Inside, in the 1830s, was discovered the niched stone sarcophagus of Menkaure himself. This was put on a boat, shipped back to England, but the boat never reached its destination. It sank somewhere off Gibraltar and is now at the bottom of the Mediterranean. This was 1838, and expeditions are underway to recover this sarcophagus. Menkaure's pyramid was originally cased, at least for the first third of its original courses, with granite not with limestone, unlike the other pyramids at Giza. It was surrounded by three queen's pyramids, some of them unfinished, off to the south, and each of the queen's pyramids contained its own mortuary temple as well. Much reuse of the stone is in evidence here, and in fact, not many years ago, one of the large granite blocks was found, having been refashioned into a double statue, most likely in the Ramesside period.